Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to generate a shape file based on the location an image was taken. Um, so what we're looking at here is a shape file that was generated using Python and ArcPy based on the location of images. So what we're looking at here now is a directory of images that I got right from my phone. Um, I just plugged the phone into my computer and copied them over. Um, and a lot of these images, if you go into the metadata here, uh, you'll notice that they have GPS coordinates. So if you scroll down, there's a bunch of sections here. And this data is called EXIF data. It's uh, sort of just a, the standard for um, imagery metadata. Um, and if you notice down here, you'll see the GPS section. So that's going to be the goal of these videos. Uh, it might be two or three videos long, but we're going to figure out how in Python we can go through a directory of geotagged images and then convert that into a shapefile. Um, and I think it's pretty cool. It was a pretty fun exercise for myself. And, you know, as geospatial enthusiasts, like I'm sure a lot of you guys are, I think it's, it's just cool how much geospatially enabled data is being generated every single day by people that have iPhones and all kinds of devices like GoPros and drones. Um, so I want to get hands on and, and know how I can always, how I can work and access this metadata. Um, so with that, let's just jump right in. Um, so I'm going to go use PyCharm. Now if you've been following some of the other videos, I know I haven't posted in a while, but um, I'm using this editor called PyCharm. Now you don't have to use this, you can use Idle, um, but I just prefer using PyCharm. Um, okay, so let's just jump right in. First thing we need to do is, in Python, we have to access these images. So I'm going to copy the location of this folder here. Just copy it to my clipboard and put store that in a variable in Python. So I'm just going to call it image folder and set it equal to what I just copied. And now I need to make that a string. And then I'm going to make it a raw string by putting the R in front of it. And raw just means treat it raw, don't have any escape characters. So if I had not a raw string, it's going to want to treat this as an escape character, but we don't want to do that. So I just always get in the habit of doing raw strings for anything path related like that. Um, okay, that's step one. Now we have to figure out what's actually in that directory. So we're going to actually need to import a Python package called OS. And we're going to use that to help us see inside this directory. Um, all right, so to do that, we're going to make another variable called image contents and set that equal to os.lister. This is a built-in Python thing that basically just lists the contents of a given path. So if you notice here, the editor, it, it's basically telling me, hey, put a path in here. And sure enough, we already have a path right here. So we could just go throw that in, uh, image folder. And then let's just print that out just to see what it looks like. So if we print image contents, um, I hope the bigger uh, font is helping you guys. I actually think it's a new feature in PyCharm. It's it's in presentation mode. So uh, let me know if it's too big or, or or what, and I can adjust it. Okay, so the list here finished. So okay, when we printed that, we noticed it gave us this list. And that's cool, we see all the image names and they should correlate with these image names. Image 30, 32, that all looks good. But you'll notice that this is just the image name, it's not the full path to this image. So the next step is we need to get the full path. What I mean by that is basically just this location plus that. Um, so if you shift click on the image, say copy as path, and we can just put it here just for reference. We need to build something that looks like that for every single image here. So that sounds like a good thing for a for loop. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of this print statement and then just loop through that list. So for img or for image, just image in image contents print image, not image 
contents image. There we go. So I'll get rid of that. And let's just run this to see what happens. All right, uh, pretty much just what we had before, but now we're just printing it one by one. So now we have to do something, some operation to that. And we're gonna use another built-in um, Python method from the OS package called OS dot, uh, what is it called? Oh, OS dot path dot join. But we're actually gonna make this a variable. So we'll call this full path or absolute path full path equals os.path.join we're going to join the image folder variable which is this image folder separated by comma now what do you want to join that with we want to join that with image which is that so we put that there paste oh not that one whoops image um, it's going to smash those two together. So I like to just, just think of it as like smashing the two things together. It's, it's going to smash this together. And it's going to add a slash. That's what os.path.join does. It takes two things and just adds a slash to them. So that's pretty much what it's doing. So let's just run that and make sure for a sanity check that it gives us Actually, I'll print image and I'll print full path just so you can see the difference here. Okay, so we'll just go to the top of the list. So the first thing it printed was the image, and then the second thing it printed was this full path, which, like I said, it joined the path together with the image that that's currently looping through um, so okay we're we're set up we're in a pretty good position now to to move on uh, I'm gonna cut this video off here it's getting a little bit long but uh, once you once you got this down we're ready to move on to uh, you know figuring out how we can access the metadata in all those images so uh, I'll see you in the next video